Hi YouTube, Matt Glynn here. Welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about first aid and in particular the personal trauma kit from Sumigaru. Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. Before I get into the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the button down there. You know what to do if you've seen enough YouTube videos, you'll know where the subscribe button is. So, what I'm going to talk about today is I've got this Simagu uh, personal trauma kit. I'm just going to talk a little bit about this. It's something I'm really passionate about in terms of having something on yourself in the field and when you're climbing and stuff in terms of um, a trauma pack and self-care. Uh, before I get into the review, I've got, this is a British Army webbing system. This is pretty much what you see out of basic training. This is what every soldier will carry, something like this. Um, this pack here in particular is the personal medipack. This was carried in the likes of Iraq and Afghanistan on the Osprey and the, like the chest things and stuff. Which if you've seen any pictures of that, that's what they've got. And they were usually carried on the side. So this is meant for to be carried on the individual. I just want to kind of compare it to you know, size wise. This is very compact and it's exactly the same size wise really as this. Now I'm just going to show you what's in here because it's very relevant to what's in here. And this section here pulls off to rag that off and you get this. So I'll get rid of that. That's the See the resemblance? we we'll open this up. There's a, a wealth of things in here. A lot of it's irrelevant really for day to day stuff. But the two that I want to focus on is the first field dressing and the tourniquet. Have a guess what's in here. Let's get that out of the way. The Simagu trauma kit is a personal kit that will be carried on the individual. Or you could have it at arm's reach or maybe on your climbing bag or on a rope bag about the tree or something. But it's, it's meant for, for one person, it's not a team kit, it's just a, a personal kit that you would have on, on yourself. So the first things first is it's, it's super compact, and it's really lightweight, and it's purpose built, this, this all this uh, packaging kind of thing, the actual case or bag it's in, is all purpose built for the contents, so it's super compact. Really nice, uh, strong f uh, fabric. It's got the molly system on the back, which you can basically connect to anything, um, same as what was on the webbing. But what you can also do, so it's got your two straps there to undo them. But you can also, again, pull this off. So when that's attached to it, you can pull that off. So if I get rid of that, that's kind of what you're left with. There's these two loops on the top, which you can attach to your climbing harness if you wanted to. But it would obviously flap around a bit like that, which I'm like keen on. Then we lift the flap open rip this top off and then you're greeted with this so this is what you can expect to see inside and like I showed you on the other one you've got a tourniquet and a, a large bandage, Israeli bandage or first field dressing as it's known there's this loop here like a bit of, it's not paracord but it's some sort of like string with a it's got a CT climbing technology just snap carabiner on and that can obviously clip to your harness so you can get rid of that and if that was, if you imagine that was behind your back you, you could still access it personally I'd like that to be a bit longer because if it's dangling down you, you know, as you can see it's not that long it would be good to just get it closer to you when you need it so personally I'd have that a bit longer so then in, inside like I said it's super compact so you'll have your tourniquet this is um, obviously the, the newest tourniquet I think it's like a Cat, Cat 7 I think they all, they all work the same, but um, obviously this one, not being tactical, not being a military one, it's bright orange, which is good, so you, if you ever dropped it for whatever reason, you could find it. And then again, arm issue, first field dressing. These will uh, help you clot large uh, large wounds or like a catastrophic bleed. This is the first thing you probably go for, really, just as a rule of thumb. However, what's really important in here, and why it's got an extra, in this little pocket here, you lift this up, this is some Sealox, now this is the, uh, I think this is the gauze one, 
Yeah, this is the gauze one, they do a granular as well. These have been using the military for a long time. And not that long really in like in Civvy Street, like ambulances and uh that sort of thing. They've not been around it's not been around that long compared to how long the military's had it. Um what this does basically is it helps clot liquid, so blood well blood, you know, it helps clot that so it's like a gauze that you kinda can just put in the wound and it'll just absorb all the fluid around it. So you could shove some of that in and then get your first field dressing over the top. Um these are, are, are really quite expensive, the, but the it's one of these things where hopefully you buy it and never use it. So um really good to have, have that inside. Like I said before, it's super compact, it's quite difficult to get all this stuff back in. Uh, the sealops goes in quite well. It just kind of pops in there like that, he says. But these are a lot tighter fit to get in here, but this isn't really a, a training aid. I mean, you could use them for training, but once you open this, because it's all a, a sealed package, you don't, you're don't you not going to use it for, for first aid. So it's really important to say that you need to be trained on how to use these. So, yeah, you, it says the instructions on the back there to use a first field dressing. But the reality is it's just a big bandage. So, you know, common sense would tell you to use that. However, the tourniquet, you could cause some serious damage, worse damage. If you have to use one of these, then there's a serious arterial bleed or a really, you know, it's a massive threat to life if you have to use one of these. And if you use it wrong, then potentially that casualty could lose a limb, could could, could completely lose that limb. Um, because that's what these for arms and legs. You can't you can't use them around your neck. <laughs> so it's really important that if you're gonna uh, use this kit, you get some sort of formal training uh, off off someone who knows what they're on about. These trauma packs are available online for around 80, 90 quid, which I know a lot of people straight away go, "I'm not paying that. That's too expensive." But what you buy, what you for these individual items are expensive anyway. Um, amount of research and development that's gone into them, particularly the the sea locks. Um, if you're getting it all as a complete package that's built for our wrists and tree surgeons, it's it's specifically designed for them. And hopefully you'll buy it and it'll stay on your harness or it'll stay in this pack near the work site or you no know, at arm's reach kind of thing, and you'll never have to use it. There is an expiry date on a lot of these. Um, this one's 2027 and it was made in 2019. So when you spread the cost of that, look how long it's going to last. Then it's going to last a long time. And like I said, it's super hard wearing. So for me, this is an essential. Every person who works with chainsaws or, or works in the tree with a chainsaw should have one of these or something like these. And for the price and uh, what's involved in it, I think this is a, a perfect example. If you was gonna go and get like the likes of, if you was gonna get one of these from an army navy stores, and and make your own, buy a tourniquet and a first field dressing and you know seal locks, it costs you more than than this would anyway. So, not to mention a little carabine and little bits of things like that. So, I wanted to show the the, the military one just. To give you just to compare it how good quality product this is and how the military are using it and you know the ambulance service are using it and people all over the world are using it it shows what what a quality product this is so I've, I'll put some links in the description uh, what I will say is that they did send me this um, I didn't buy it myself and they've sent me this to review it and in the past I've had my own like I said I've, I've had one like this on my harness and um, I'll be using this from now on. You know, they sent sent it me, and um, I'd like to say I've tried it out and it works and it's great. But the reality is, <laughs> if I'm going to try these out, it's going to be a serious injury. So I don't want to actually test these out, but um, you know, for real. And uh, yeah, really great product. I think it, it's built really well. It's a good price point, and it's specific for arborists and for climbing arborists and for tree surgeons, forestry workers and what have you. So go and have a look in the links in the description. Let me know what you think. Let me know what types of first aid stuff you have and if this was helpful at all. 
and I really hope you go and purchase one of these or if not something very similar because it's a um, it's a must have really so thanks for watching make sure you like the video if you did and leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button I'll see you in the next video